You know, we have to deal with the fact that in Ezekiel, the Lord's people are clearly called a rebellious people. And the prophet Ezekiel is called the son of man. We have in the New Covenant, New Testament, Jesus taking this title of son of man upon himself as he delivers a word to us. And he says uh, to the people around him in that day, he said they're a wicked and adulterous generation. So it is not all that different from what Ezekiel faced in chapter uh, three that we're looking at here today where the emphasis is on this, that God told Ezekiel to be faithful and to fulfill the plan of God in speaking forth the things that God gave him to say to the people, regardless of how difficult that may be, that's going to be the only way you, you make it. And, and, you know, Jesus was faithful even to death on the cross. So he was, he was willing to, to say what the Father would have him say, to do what the Father would have him do. And, of course, we, we surrender our lives, and we need to do the same thing. Let's take a look at some of these um, phrases and, and verses that we have here in Ezekiel 3. So, first of all, we see again this use of, the, of, of this title, Son of Man, and again, this imagery that we had at the end of chapter 2, eat this scroll. You know, take a scroll in and you you take it in and it's, it's it, listen, you feed your belly with this scroll. Fill your stomach with it, your innermost parts. Let it go in there. And he said, it, it was in my mouth as sweet as honey. You know, he, he loved, loved the word. He, he take it in deeply and then the... The instruction comes, son of man, go to the house of Israel and speak with them. Speak my words, for you're not set, sent to a people of foreign speech from some other people group that maybe would they would have listened to you. But no, you're going to my people who refuse to hear my voice and they won't listen to you. That's, that's your lot in life. That's your... Uh, your ministry, your mission is to speak to people that are not going to listen. Very, very difficult. And you, you need to be brave and courageous and keep on going. He said, I've made your face as hard as their faces. Remember, Jesus set his face like flint going towards Jerusalem. He determined to do what was the Father's will. And see, this was Ezekiel. This is what Ezekiel was told to do. Don't fear them. Fear them not. They're a rebellious house. So then he, he sent them to the, to the exiles that were in uh, far off land. And it, here, here's what you to say to them. Thus says the Lord God. Now, whether they hear you or not, you, you say, thus says the Lord God, and then give them the real message. And so the spirit lifted him up and off he went, you know, and took the spirit took me away and I went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit, the hand of the Lord being strong upon me. So something beyond him, himself, you know, was happening. Here I came to the exiles and I, I sat there overwhelmed. It says for seven days he sat among them. And at the end of the seven days, the word of the Lord came to him. And he was to be a watchman, you know. Here was the key. He, he had to do what God would have him do and say what God would have him say. And so it says, whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning. If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die. And you give them no warning, then guess what? Not only are they in trouble, but now you're in trouble. And their wickedness is somehow on you. But if, if you, you're faithful as a messenger, then you've delivered your own soul at least. You've delivered your own soul. So arise, you know, he says, arise and go out into the valley. Off he goes. So I arose and went out into the valley and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there. I fell on my face. But now once again, the spirit entered into me, set me on my feet. And again, same message reiterated now. Go and go and, uh, you know, give the truth to the people. At first, he had some time where he actually was to stay by himself. But then when I speak with you, I will open your mouth and you shall say to them, 
Thus says the Lord God, he who will hear, let him hear. And he who will refuse to hear, let him refuse for their rebellious house. So here's the thing. We have a son of man in Jesus Christ who is utterly faithful to this instruction. He did what he was supposed to do. He said what he was supposed to say. Sometimes the, um, the prophets of old may have failed in that regard, certainly false prophets. And we must not fail. We See, if, if we're going to be speaking the word, we need to say the truth, right? To follow Christ by the power of the Spirit. Let the Spirit come into us and put us on our feet and give us the courage to say what we need to say. Father, make us faithful as your messengers, as we would be called to make disciples. Help us to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, friends.